I was trying to pose like a mannequin and well, I don't know if it was successful. But currently, I am at Kuzi Couture and you're watching the Business Explorer. Now, Kuzi Couture is a renowned designer. You should check out some of the things she's done. And I'm privileged to be here to talk to her, to have an interview with her. The dress I'm even wearing was done by one of her students. Can you imagine if a student can do something this beautiful? Then what will the master do? We will be talking to Comfort of Kuzi Couture in a bit stay tuned don't go anywhere you're watching the business explore so you're watching the business explore with me the county thompson and i just love the show because i get to go to places meet amazing people and so much more happen on the show you know i've been mentioning kuzi kutira kuzi kutira kuzi kutira my designer and officially she's on the show today welcome <laughs> Thank you. All right, so just let's look at the brand. Tell me a little about Kuzi Couture. Okay, so let's start off with the person behind Kuzi Couture. My name is Comforta Krufiani, and then I've been doing this officially since 2010. But basically what we do is we do um, bridal, I would say upscale bridal wear, and then formal ways. That's what we do. Okay, so um, I'm new to this. So what's upscale bridal wear? Um, we have a new crop of clients coming up because people are so not used to the usual bridal wears that they see on the market. Because you would see uh, at a friend's wedding that there's this nice gown. You go to the next one, it's the same gown representing itself. So now people want customized gowns. So we are there to fill that gap. So if you want anything done that's out of the ordinary, yes, we are there to create that for you. I I'm going to go to the bridal wear, but what things do you do? We do formal ways, formal ways. There's a, um, a line that we call Miss Cozy. It's for ladies who want something that's um, limited edition. People who don't want stuff that's all over the place. So yes, we do that. Now let's go to the whole bridal thing. And I know you do some planning as well, right? Yes, I do. I just found the right spot for you. Kuzi Couture Comfort, I'm with her right now. She does bridal wear and I'll tell you a secret later. But let's go to the bridal wear. What kind of bridal wears do you do? We normally would want to do the couture types because then couture is all about details. So we go for fabrics that are not too common and then we had to add on details like petals and stones and stuff. Yes, that's what we do. And how affordable are you? Yeah, we are very affordable. Very. Yeah, very, so very good. Very, very affordable. Um, I mean, if, if you're trying to make your own gown and you're customizing everything, it won't be too cheap, but I think she's very affordable. Yes, I am. Yeah. Now, let's go to your other, the, the Miss Couture. Do you have anything? I mean, I see gowns here, and I know they're wrapped nicely and everything, but do you have other things for the Miss Couture that you do? Yes, um, we, we, we always want our clothing line or our, our lines to tell a story. As you mean you want to get married, when you marry, you would want to go on a honeymoon with your husband and then you would want to wear a nice lingerie, you'd want to go out to the malls and all that. So when, um, for instance, a client walks in, we cater for all that, as in we let the person have a gown of their dreams and then we let them have the resort wear, what we have, the dresses that you would wear when you're on honeymoon, we do those ones as well. So it's definitely one of a kind and then it's not something that you would see out there. So for a new um, bride or someone who's going to be a bride, what are some of the things you have to consider when choosing a gown? Number one, you would have to consider your figure type. Oh. Yes, you have to consider your figure type, whether you are petite, like Miss Conte. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So I'm going to talk about this dress I'm wearing, but let me just show you, like, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> or if you, are, if you are plus size, yes, you have to consider that. If you are the hourglass figure type, you have to consider that as well. And then number two, you have to consider your budget and then the uh, venue for the occasion, whether it's a destination wedding as you are going to a beachside or if it's going to be a cathedral wedding as in a big church or if it's just going to be a small in-house wedding. You have to consider all those before you come up with a kind of wedding gown you'd be wearing. Okay, so let's go over again. Your size, your, pl your size. The size, the venue, the budget. Okay, the and then, yes, you would have to consider um, whether it's a destination wedding or it's just an in-house wedding. You have to consider that as well. Okay. I know Comfort does some planning as well. She's also a wedding planner, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
So I'll just steal some ideas from her. We're trying to help you um, make the right decisions when it comes to your wedding. So when you're planning that big day, what are some of the things you have to consider? The first thing you have to consider, apart from budget being the overall, you have to consider the theme. What kind of theme would you want your wedding to be around? If it's all about, let's say, butterflies, then it means you are, you are planning stuff that would have butterfly elements in it. If it's something that has to do with um, rustic romance, mm. then it means you are going for stuff that looks a bit rusty, but then it looks um, kind of... What's the word? Uh, yeah. So <laughs> okay. you, you just have to consider first the theme. Because if you know the theme that you want to build your wedding around, then it would be easy going for the elements that you want to find in there. If assuming you are going for an Afrocentric wedding, then you can have um, the decor having all those calabash chandeliers in ch instead of the normal chandeliers you see. And then you can have girls dressed um, with turbans and then the ushers, I mean with turbans and all that and all these nice petals flowing over there. So you have to, number one, consider the theme that would help you. Plan. I won't let you say all. Oh, if you want to plan your wedding, just come to Kusi Couture and she will help you plan the wedding. Now let's go back to your brand. I was just going to say that but her the first time I walked in here I was so comfortable in her presence every time I walk in here I'm so comfortable I can talk to her about anything she's become my friend even though I'm a client that's a good way what do you think makes you different from the rest of the people I know what makes you different but I'm not going to say it, so you tell me not our finishing for, for Brandon for me number one has to do with what kind of feeling the, the, the client feel has when they've they left actually your wear the dress so that's the, the brand we've been building over the so years yes we've not been so much into to advertising but then one thing that keeps bringing people back is how they feel after we've done stuff for them so yes for our branding that's one side of it the um, human relation or the interpersonal skills that we have here and then two it's about How do you think the Ghanaian market is taking you and do you export to other countries? Not yet. For, for the only lines we take out is just the casual way, but then not here. We don't sell in here. But then one thing with the Ghanaian market, initially, yes, we have this mentality of things that come from abroad is the best. But now people, we, we just have new crop of people developing these days that, oh, let's patronize made in Ghana goods. And then it's it's really growing fast. I think the fashion industry in Ghana, all in all, is is having a new phase, and it's it's good. Now talk about the fashion industry. If you could change one thing in the fashion industry, what would it be? I think networking, networking. Because one thing with, with the fashion industry is you see lots of programs here and there, but we actually don't have a fashion calendar here in Ghana as compared to other countries where they have a fashion calendar where you know that there's Fashion Week New York, Fashion Week Milan, but then it's not like that. It's everybody trying to do a program and then do a fashion show. But then yes, if we network and we come up with a fashion calendar, then it would be an even playing field for all the fashion designers to play. Synergy, synergy, I think that's what she's talking about. The fashion industry needs synergy. I mean, there are so many beautiful things in Ghana and some of the dresses you made for me is so, so, so beautiful. And I think the world has to see what Africa and Ghana has to offer. So more synergy in the fashion industry. Um, anything for our viewers and you want to say? Okay, so for those of you watching at home, what I would advise is if you want to have your wedding or your special day done, especially for you, I believe that you always have to consult the specialist and then also bear in mind that good things come at a cost. 
good things come at a cost but at a very affordable cost i've been in here and trust me i don't like to spend money on unnecessary things and at cozy's place i've been able to get very affordable things don't look at all the glamour and thing is so 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 expensive you can afford it so walk into trade fair if you're having your wedding call the numbers on the screen contact Kuzi Kutira her name is comfort very nice person very beautiful person and she will attend to you when it comes to your wedding planning your bridal wear your engagement well, we didn't talk about the engagement words mm. okay so we do that we do that so for the engagement if it's kente yes we do if you want your own to be out of not the usual kente thing yes we do that one as well is our model ready? <laughs> okay, you can come in now. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Have we ca you have to do a spin for us, you know? Yeah, very nice. So what kind of dress is this? Okay, this is a formal red carpet dress, I might say. But then it's, it's a dress that if you are going for a beauty pageant and you want Cozy Couture to do something for you, yes, we can do that for you. Or if you are going for any of the shows that's, yeah, Ghana, we are having nice shows of late. So if you are going for any show, you just come in and then we'll do something nice for you. Okay. So you do for um, like celebrities going on red carpets? And all that. Exactly, we okay. do. But what is your major? What, what, what are you making? The bridals and the formal, that's our mainstay. Okay. All right, so you're watching the Business Expo. My name is De Conti. Um, she's not the only model here. I'm here too. <laughs> so I'm going to do a spin. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, so I'm ready for this. <laughs> I'm ready for this. We're going to take a spin. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this dress by Kuzi Couture. Kuzi Couture. Very lovely. Okay, so you're watching the Business Expo. My name is De Conti. I've been talking to Comfort of Cozy Couture. Oh, do we have to? Have to I'm Emily. 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 Nice model. Nice model. And she's a student as well. Oh, you have a school. Oh, tell us about that. Okay, so if you want to learn how to do fashion, but then you don't want to go through the normal because as in a six year course or a three year course, you can just pop in here with one and a half years, you can do all that we do in here. So you can easily become a fashion designer um, passing through the school for one and a half years. Okay, so there's, there's everything here. There's a school here. Um, you can do your wedding planning here. There's bridal here, your engagement wear, your celebrity red carpet look. You can have it from here. So it's been wonderful having you on the show. Thank you for bringing Emily in and thank you for coming on the show. You're watching the Business Expo and I'm proud, very proud to be ex associated with Kuzi Couture, comfort of Kuzi Couture. And trust me, you need to walk in here and see what I'm talking about. It's the Business Expo. My name is Comfort Akrofi, Creative Director at Cozy Couture. For all the information on what to get, watch Business Explore.